Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sare. So in this uh, tutorial, uh, we are going to learn about uh, how the increment operators uh, work uh, in an expression. Okay, so how the its precedence, its evaluation order works when we combine uh, more than uh, one type of uh, increment operator into a single expression here. Okay. So uh, if you take something like this, uh, so here I am taking a is equal to 10. Okay. So I am taking another uh, variable uh, b and I am saying here something like this. Uh, I am taking a combination of uh, pre-increment and post-increment uh, operators uh, and a whole lot of uh, thing here. Okay. So uh, after building an expression uh, with all those uh, operators, uh, let, let me uh, see, uh, let me print the result here. Okay. So if I print the result, uh, you get the idea. So if I execute this small and tiny program, so you get the result as 48 here. Okay. So first let me uh, change the background so that uh, it's, it will be more uh, clarity. I'm just changing the colors here, screen text to black and background, let it be white. Okay. So I got uh, 48 as my result. So you might wonder uh, why in the world uh, we got the 48 as the result here. Okay. So the reason is, um, so in both uh, increment and uh, in the increment, whether it's increment or decrement, uh, the first, the post increment gets uh, more higher priority than the pre-increment. Okay, so this is the, this is post increment here, post increment operator, and this one is pre-increment. Okay, so post increment has the high priority when compared to the pre-increment operator. Okay, so if you if you take this uh, small expression, uh, tiny expression which we built using both of them. So here we have uh, uh, two pre-increments and two post-increments. Okay, so first according to the uh, expression, uh, according to the expression or uh, the first the value for the value of uh, the, it's going to start the evaluation from the post increment since we just now we have said that the post increment has a little bit higher precedence than the pre increment. So since the post increment, uh, the evaluation is from uh, left to right. Uh, what happens here is uh, it takes, it, ex it evaluates first this expression. So the A remains 10 and the actual value is 11. And also uh, the A remains 11 and the actual value is 12. And then it comes back to here, uh, and it comes back to here, uh, to the pre-increment. Okay, so as soon as this completes, it, it evaluates this pre-increment operator, which is now the value of A is 12. And then uh, the value of A is, uh, uh, the, then the value of A is 13 here, because in the previous installment, it's 12, incremented value is 12. And pre-increments, uh, when it comes to pre-increment, the first value gets incremented and then gets assigned. So that's the reason the A value is 13 here. And by the time it comes to here, the A value is 14. So finally, the value of A is 14. And if you get uh, compute all the 14s, 14 fours are 48, okay? So that's the reason uh, we are getting uh, the value as 48 here. Okay, so that's the reason uh, the value we are getting here as uh, 48. Okay, so need not get confused here. The finally, uh, the value of A gets evaluated. Uh, finally, the value of A gets evaluated to uh, 48, uh, 14. So that's the reason uh, we are getting 48 here. Okay, so see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.